Hey. Well, now it's Sunday. And yes, these videos are a bit of a dear diary. Um, a check-in or just an opportunity to, I don't know. What am I getting at? I, what I'm getting at is I wake up today. It's, it's a nice day. It's kind of gray. But um, this feeling that I have, I pay attention to my body and my psychic energy I pay attention to it I don't always know what it means but I pay attention to it and uh, uh, I'm feeling the the reality of um, how much things are just really not like they we want them to be right now what does that mean nothing just that I'm feeling it and so I'm feeling it um, Dear Diary, so yesterday, my neighbors, straight across that I can look out the window, the house directly across the street that I call my hillbillies, I love them, but I'm going to put them, I'm going to call them like they are, because they're pretty ignorant. They had a graduation party yesterday, um, big one, outside, um, interestingly, they have a yard like me front in a backyard seems like that sort of thing you would have in your backyard but they had it in the front yard a fire pit a, a grill they put up a, a a jumpy those things that you rent for the little kids to and inflate there was maybe 25 30 people there no social distancing I saw one woman wear a mask for a while then she took it off My hope is that these people, are, no, one, no one was positive and that no one gets sick. But it was a bit frustrating to me to watch because I was looking at the behavior and I understand they're human, they want to celebrate, this is natural, and yet I couldn't help but also see the fact that, well, everyone over there is ignorant. No one knows their condition. And so they're just ignorantly going on about this as though nothing has happened and hopefully nothing did. But that's the part that I lament, I think right now, is the fact that things really are not normal the way they were and people are insisting on behaving like they are, which exacerbates our situation that the spiking of the virus does not stop because we keep exposing one another here in America where we're supposedly so exceptional the main thing I'm finally seeing is that we're exceptionally stupid and ignorant and being run by some very very unscrupulous not well-meaning low-life uh, greed-headed politicians they're gonna, that are basically destroying they're so insistent on keeping the greed going, but they're going to destroy, this ultimately destroy it. Why is that not more obvious to these so-called smart people? They don't look smart to me at all. In these time, in this time, if I don't get to play, show you a record, if I don't show you a record at all, it's no big deal because I'm really feeling this right now it's not the way it was and it's not going to be the way it was for a long time if ever again in my life it really kind of sucks because like I, i'll say it again the more that ignorant people kick against it insisting on their rights and doing things that basically our dangerous behaviors in this current situation it just it just makes sure that we're fucked so that's what's on my mind um, 
when it comes to music so at the beginning of the year I put this CD out I made a hundred copies of it 2020 it sold out pretty much immediately I've got a couple copies on hold for folks who said they wanted them but then the virus happened and nobody could, they couldn't come get them but because of the way that I made this and the, because of, because I did almost all the work myself um, and then the the layout work that I got on the cover for my friend Aaron he wouldn't allow me to pay him for it I made uh, close to a thousand dollars profit on this and consequently I spent pretty much all of it on records so I have so I have more to show that I haven't shown yet and yesterday I got in I, I, I have one more order coming and then I'm then, then it's gone No, I'm using the stimulus check to uh, improve the house. I'm not spending that money on records. You know, the, the stimulus check was was sent to help us make it. So that's what I'm going to do. These records, I earn these. It really feels good. It really feels good that that money for these records that I've been buying is profit. Profit is nice. However, we're at a point now where we need to focus on function, not profit, as in, as nations. So, I think it was Garrett that mentioned that he likes to see my um, my burns, like it's a, it's a separate collection. Well, yes, I can see where it looks like that. What it is is it's these are records that I want, and when I can get them, I do. So, a lot of these this these burns are a reflection of my collection it's not separate yeah I, you know yeah that's how I see it and that's what that's what's going on here all right so here's one Tazbalan Presidenti from Finland another Finnish band hello Finnish Finnish watchers fans been wanting this album forever Lambert Land it's one of my favorites the title track Lambert Land I think is a, a near a perfect piece of progressive rock music um, where it's jazzy, spacey, and has complicated parts. I'm showing this because in my latest order, I finally got a copy of this on vinyl. It was just reissued again on the Svart label. I like that label. But I've been wanting this album since it came out. Um, I had it on 8-track. The 8-track might still be in the garage. It wouldn't be playable. But mesmerizing and, and very... Um, Lambert Land, the way it starts, the, the sound is like it's, we're going on a trip. We're going to go far away. We're leaving this. That's what I love about it. It's like, I'm, we're going to go on a journey. Uh, we're going somewhere someplace magical now they really did this up nice because it's I got the gold vinyl version apparently Svart has reissued this before but I didn't know about it and this one comes with a seven inch of unreleased material the A side is a song where it's more typical of the blues rock sound they started with and then the B side is more progressive <clears throat> the other nice thing about these um, reissues is how they do them in style and they give you the backstory. And reading about this album was a. I would have never have guessed the story about the making of this album from hearing it. You know, hearing about the difficulty that they had in making the album, you don't hear that at all, except for the one cut. In Lambert Land, there's an edit where they had to splice the tape, and it's like it's it's a bad splice. You you hear it, and it's just like that's the best they could do, I guess so. But this is one of the most recent arrivals 
I have one more installment I'm waiting. And it'll be, that'll be the last of the money that I made from the uh, Derek Higgins 2020 CD. Really happy to receive this. So it's a reflection. You know, these burns are a reflection of this. It's not separate. I think it's you, Garrett, that said that. You know, sometimes when people say certain things, it's like I just, well, that's your perception. But I want you to, I want you to get, I want you to know what it's like over here. Okay. The burns are an extension of what I can't find in Omaha. That's what it's really about. I have these on because it's like I can't find the, the records. They don't. They never come to Omaha. Omaha is super conservative and. Um, still pretty redneck sadly it's racist and redneck the one other thing I'll say about my hillbilly neighbors the thing that I did like seeing was the multi-racial aspect of their party the couple across the street are black but they had white friends and they had Mexican friends and it was neat to see them mix a whole lot of children I would just hope nobody was is positive you know, and all of us being brown skinned, you know, and basic workers were on the front line of at being at risk. Okay. Here's another one that's um I had the burn. I won't I won't try to I had this on burn forever, now I have the album. Jumbo Italian. Love those Italians, I do. I have not, even though I know this music, I have not, I don't remember the story. I looked it up years ago, but Jumbo's Vietato ai Minori di 18 anni, something about becoming 18 years old, maybe. Uh, this is really good. This is what I'm, this is what I look for. And this is what I like about the Italian uh, school of prog rock. It's ornate. A lot of words that I don't speak Italian. But the music is very interesting and varied. I didn't know this was going to be on colored vinyl. I just bought it. I get it. It comes in and it's on red vinyl. That's kind of cool. doesn't have to be. But I'll show it to you since it is wasn't expecting it I just but this is one I have on a burn CD forever and I played this last night all the way through and it was like hearing it for the first time even though I know this album this is really good a lot of classical on it not so much jazz more classical and folk in quiet passages jumbo real good I got another magma. I would like to complete my magma. Um, they have a bunch of stuff that's only on CD. I love the music. I'm not so much into buying CDs right now, even though I've got a bunch. Anything on vinyl they have, I, I would like to have it all. So I got this Ka double album. Contarco's Anteria is what this is. It's a double album, but it's three sides. Three sides. Uh, there's no bad magma music. I mean, if you like mag, what I find fascinating about magma is the Zool school of music does not repeat itself. It's a strain, and yet within that strain, the compositions continue to develop and find wonderful new ways of existing. Magma is an amazing band. Ka. Contarco's Anterior, really excellent. Excellent. Another band, this is one where it's this is a replacement. I had an original years ago, and it's one that one of those records that I sold that it's like I shouldn't have I like the record. Why did I sell it? Yeah, my glasses are crooked, oh well. Le Orme Verita Nascost. Great Italian band. A wonderful album. I don't know why I ever sold it. As soon as I put it on, when I got this in, it was like, oh, I remember this record. I was out of my mind. I really was psych psychotic, not doing well mentally when that all went down. Religion had a lot to do with it. That's why I don't mince my words. 
you know, religion might be good for you. It ain't good for me. Veritanas Costa. Great Italian band. Now, here's one where it did say that it was going to be on colored vinyl. Turquoise. 180 gram. Really good album. Because the music is so interesting and varied, it really just, I don't know, I don't need to know what they're talking about. I just can make it up. And most of the time I don't even make it up. I just go with where the music takes my mind and my body. That's, that's, that's enough. So that's the latest. I've got one more order coming in. One more order coming in. I do appreciate hearing from you folks. I do. Um, folks who give me information to make sure that I'm giving correct information. I appreciate that too. I'm here in Omaha, Nebraska. I just want to remind you I'm in a very conservative redneck state and my collection is very not typical. The average person in this state has no idea about this music and yet here I am. I got this music and I know about it. There's a lot I don't know because I'm in Nebraska. I find out what I can. So when people give me information to um, further illuminate or correct things I've said that might be incorrect, I do appreciate it. I do. I do. But no one likes to be corrected. But still, what I'm saying I appreciate the fact that, you know, you, if you have correct information, you give it to me. All right? Oh, tell me what's going on, people.